Duffy was a genius, uh -huh. second only to whoever invented dunking. Hey, wait, wait, wait. That's no fair. You started without me. I started in the store. I don't think that guy ever saw so many people with empty wrappers. Oh, yeah, as if he never saw a couple of junk food junkies out on a buying binge. I'm so glad I went with you, though. You never would have thought of getting those chocolate-covered donuts. She, no, going out into the real world wasn't such a bad thing, was it? Mm-mm. Nobody recognized him. Just because you had your face buried in a bag of tortilla mm, chips. Those were good. Give me another one. Mm. Don't forget the dip, though. I saw it first. I got the dip chips. All right. Dip me. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Very funny. Mm. But I meant the food. Mm -hmm. That's what I was getting to. <laughs> mm. Stop, mm. stop. Wait! What? Ice cream. Ice cream. With the ice cream. Mm, I told you I didn't want to see a paper. I haven't enjoyed an interview that much in a long yes, time. Thank you very, very much. And please send me a copy before Thanks. it goes to press, okay? Thank yes. you. Don't Bye -bye. misprint anything. No, she wouldn't do that. All right. Well, that was really good. <clears throat> well, what did you expect? Come on. Excuse me. Uh, yeah? Did I see you singing on television with Dean Frame? <laughs> yeah, though I don't usually get recognized. Do I know you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Carl Hutchins. Carl Hutchins? <laughs> Alive and kicking. Yeah, I, I see that. I've heard a lot about you. Mostly pretty foul. Well, you mustn't believe everything you hear. I mean, the rumors of my depravity have long since gone into the realm of the unbelievable. Right. Um, did you really pay Ian Rain's bail? Yes. Ian's a good friend of yours, isn't he? Yeah, he's a very good friend of mine. I'm Maggie. Yes, of course. I know who you are. You're the delightful Maggie Corey. Your grandmother and I are great friends. Yes, Rachel and I go back a oh, long way. Come on, go over there and get him, Dean. He likes them when they're young. Be careful. Excuse me. a new track, huh? You finished. We were having a friendly chat. Really? Well, yeah, it's over. Bye. What did I tell you? I told you he's a dangerous man, didn't I tell you well, that? I stay away from him. You stay away from him, Maggie. Okay. I told you that before, right? Okay. Fine. Can we leave now? Yeah, why don't we go over to the Daily Grind? Fine, excellent. Okay? You're coming with us, okay? No, no, I, I don't want to intrude. You're not intruding. We're all going together. I don't want you <laughs> staying in here. Maybe some other time, Dave. Listen to me. I know that you're a little upset, okay, about the song, but trust me, it's no, good. I'm not, yes. I'm not upset. Just understand it was good. It was good for your resume. You got a school credit for it. And you got to trust me. I know when it's right. Good. But why can't I just record another track now that I'm in good voice? It's not that. It's you've got to trust me. It was good. The song's gone anyway. It's gone to Andrew Stark. Lorna sent the tape over to him already. Just let the it go. Tape. What? I left it in Kevin's car. You were in Kevin's car? Yeah, he gave me a ride over here. Don't ask me why. Hold on a second. You do know where the tape is, though, right? No, I know, I know, I know. You don't it's, lose it, it, it or no, it's in Kevin's you were car. Supposed to send it I'm last sending night. it tomorrow morning. The first thing tomorrow morning. Now. He had an appointment at nine. You don't have a watch on. All right, let me get over there quickly. It's across the street. I'll um, just I'll get be back. it over. That's great. Why do I have a feeling that it's going to be one of those nights? Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. No, it's, it's all right. Look, I just didn't want to see what all those media mavens are writing about me. That's all. But I think you should look at this headline. 
No. I, I think Vicky. I think I you should. Ryan, Vicky, I don't I think, want Look to. at this headline. What? what? You know, normally I don't believe what I read in the papers, but this this is true. See this? Where did you get this? They print up phony papers at the novelty shop right next to the convenience store, and while you were deciding between the triple nut fudge and the... Mm. This is the sweetest thing anyone has ever done for me. I love you so much, Ryan Harrison. <laughs> looking forward to this interview for a very long time. I think I have a lot to offer as chief prosecutor. Hmm. All right. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's begin with an examination of your prosecution of the Frankie Frame case. You uh, seem a little tense, Mr. Anderson. Well, of course I'm tense. I want this job, and you opened up the interview with a fairly hostile question. What the hell? Wood. Do you know what happens to your money when you buy a lottery ticket in Rhode Island? Political reporter Diana Kelsch will have a government watchdog report tonight on Newswatch 10. Plus, how to prevent head lice as your children head back to school. Fine, the doctor will be here soon. Okay. Just stay here. Just stay here. Oh, thank God you're here. She's not gonna last the day I now. Where's the doctor? Come, where's the doctor? He's not coming. What you said earlier about St. Cristobal. Ah, I thought I may have piqued your interest. Are you sure your mentor would approve of this little tete-a-tete? -tete? Spencer is my boss. He doesn't own me. I'd love to hear the final track. Well, yeah, well, uh, Lorna went to go get the tape out of Kevin's car, and if it's there, we can, maybe... You mean there's uh, a maybe... chance that's not there? Well, no, I didn't say that. I mean, well, maybe there's a little chance that it's over at DNM. And maybe I mean, somebody she could... stole it. Why would that make you happy? Well, she doesn't think she did a very good job on the song. She oh. doesn't think she was very good, but I know that she was good, and I keep telling her this I over and over. I just sing better when we do it together, so, you know, why can't we just go back and lay down another track? Because Dean. it was that simple. I mean, we I'm Dean. sorry. I don't mean to interrupt, but could I steal you away for just a minute? Uh, it's sort of a, a favor for a birthday call. Yeah? Okay, you don't mind doing no. that? No. Like, okay. okay. Come on. It's a good friend of mine. It's, uh, her daughter's <laughs> crazy about it. So you really want to lay down another track, huh? Yeah, I want to do it right. Is that it, or do you just want to spend more time with my boyfriend?
Mr. Anderson. I'm sorry, Mr. Jones. You were saying, let's begin with an examination of your prosecution of Frankie Frame. You seem a little tense. <laughs> 